My name is Garrett Rapp. I sing for the Color Morale. I'm from Rockford, Illinois. Hope is defined in the dictionary as having something tomorrow, expecting something to happen, whether that's positive or negative. I choose in my, in my negative walk currently to make it a positive message. And my hope is that from this album and, and places I've been, the listener can learn and grow and try not to make the same mistakes that I've made that have brought me to where I am. A lot of the things that I chose to write about were very difficult to write about, but I know they could be detrimental to someone else's growth. I don't know where I'm at with God or faith or religion anymore. You'll hear about that on the record. I know that I need to change a lot of things in my life. You'll hear that on the record. You'll hear a lot of honesty and a lot of things that were very hard to write. But at the end of the day, if they can change, shape, motivate, inspire, or help somebody else, then that's exactly what had to be written. There's really a song, a song for everything I've been dealing with for the most part on the new album. And it, 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 it hurts, you know, when you write something authentically in an honest moment and then you have to listen to it over and over and over again. I didn't really understand what that would do um, to me and all the, sh all the stories, all the interactions, all the, all the people that come to me that are e the exact same place I am and connect with the lyrics that I write. It's controlled chaos and it's beautiful, but it hurts uh, because that's my entire life. My vocals have changed completely. A lot of people have wondered why, like why, what happened to the low, the low screaming stuff and you know, your singing voice sounds totally different. And the reason being is that I'm, I'm a different person than I was in the first two records. I'm not in the same place that I was on those two records. I feel like what we did on No Hope was a more authentic representation of, of us as a band, for me as a, as a vocalist and a lyricist. It's, it doesn't have Melodyne all over it and auto-tuned vocals. It's very raw. It's just a better representation of, of us as a band. And uh, Rise gave us the, gave us the freedom to, to be us on this album. And we didn't feel like as a band, I didn't feel like as a singer, that I had been me yet on a record. I feel like I had been what a producer wanted me to be or what a, this person wanted me to be or what that person wanted me to be. Um, what a what a Christian fan base wanted me to be. What a you know Christian friends wanted me to be. And for this album, I I wanted to just be what I was. And that's groovy. <laughs> My personal life sometimes is hard to uh, to delve into. I guess as a kid, I never really had friends. For me, I uh, I had all, all the problems that come along with uh, with a broken home and, and absent um, you know absent father. I was that kid, that little quiet, timid, chubby kid. I had such bad social anxiety, and as a kid, that I couldn't even speak without a stutter, and I had to go to a a school and learn how to talk. And it's it's funny because it's uh you know now I play music in front of 1,500 people at a time, so it's uh it's kind of <laughs> ironic I guess. I got picked on a lot my first year in high school, which really gave me a a heart for those quiet, timid kids that you see at shows that are chin down and they have no confidence. Music was something. It was the one thing at, at a younger age that I connected to. First time I went to a show. I was 13 years old and it was gutter mouth. Uh, I didn't understand punk rock music at that age or that band or the, the lyrical content, but I just connected to something. You know, later later on in, in, in high school and middle school, like I didn't know what I belonged to. I didn't play sports, I didn't have friends, I didn't do anything. So when I learned music, I'd taken some, you know, creative uh, therapeutic things I knew as a child as a kid. Uh, in writing and doodling and drawing and applied them to music and man that was the coolest time was just learning and growing as a, as a musician as a vocalist as a writer and playing shows and going to Taco Bell at two in the morning after a show and on your way home that was those are the best days in music that's what I want the color morale to be um, I want it to be that thing that 
kids that don't have anything can have, uh, as I was the kid that didn't have anyone uh, and didn't have anything. I guess it's a, it's a really negative time. It's something that I, I kind of just can't find myself subscribing to, this, this blatantly ignorant generation that hides behind the internet and hides behind iPhones and hides behind everything. I'm out here. This is my life. I've forfeited everything I've had to stay touring in a band, spreading this message of hope and, and optimism. It bothers me that everyone has the capacity to do positive things with their life. Uh, you are in control of what you do with your creative thought processes. And uh, <clears throat> for a while, I guess I was, I was unaware um, of just how negative I was becoming. Um, but you can still lead a positive life with a negative mind. You can still spread a good message. I can lead by example with that.